All right, so here we're looking for the product of these two terms in simplest radical form. And I just, I see the terms as 3 times the square root of 20 as one term, and in parentheses, our second term. Although we could think of it as three terms. Uh, but I just, to keep track of this, realize, oh, we're multiplying all of this. Now, one nice feature of the multiplication of radicals is you have the square root of x times the square root of y, that equals the square root of x times y. And that's going to be useful here because when we're combining these two terms and multiplying them, I'm going to distribute 3 times the square root of 20 to both terms here, right? To 2 times the square root of 5 minus, um, sorry, times 2 times the square root of 5 and then times 7. And we're subtracting, right? So the two terms at the beginning we saw are multiplying, which gives away that we're using the distributive property. And we're going to distribute 3 times the square root of 20 to both of the terms inside the parentheses. So this is much easier, though, than it looks, because 3 times the square root of 20 times 2 times the square root of 5, think of that as 3 times the square root of 20, that's 3 radical 20, times 2 times radical 5. If you reorder everything, what do we get? 3 times 2 times radical 20 times radical 5. But this is really nice because 3 times 2 is 6. And the square root of 20 times the square root of 5, just like the square root of x times the square root of y, equals the square root of x times y. This is equal to the square root of 20 times 5, or 100. So we have 6 times the square root of 100, which is just 6 times 10, or 60. That's our first part. In the second part, we have 3 square root of 20 times negative 7, or subtracting 7. Here we get negative 21 times the square root of 20. So here, what we have ultimately is 60 minus 21 radical 20. But what's nice here is that we can keep simplifying because a factor of 21 that's also a factor of 60 is the number 3. So pull that factor out. 3 times 20 is 60 minus 7 radical 20. Right, Because 7 groups of radical 20 times 3 would bring you back to negative 21 groups of radical 3. And that's our final answer. Thanks.